Yes, so in .NET Mali, there are easier ways to combine styles and we can avoid creating these complicated style inheritance trees. So historically in WPF, if you wanted to combine styles together, you would have to use this inheritance approach and use the based on attribute to inherit a style. But it meant if you wanted to reuse styles, you'd be at risk of creating some sort of convoluted inheritance tree. So style inheritance with the based on attribute still exists in .NET Mali, but there are other options that are more flexible and offer more of a composition approach. So here in this demo, I have what I think is an accurate representation of some problems I've seen in the past with style inheritance. So we have our primary button with just some basic button attributes, our primary background color, it's gonna have a white text, some basic padding and corner radius, but we're in the context of a nav bar. So we also have this nav button style that we wanna apply to most of our nav buttons. But also in our nav bar, we want to have some sort of primary nav button. So we want it to be, of course, a nav button. So here we're inheriting from nav button, but we'd also want it to be a primary button too. And this is where style inheritance gets tricky because of course we can't inherit from nav button and primary button. So that being said, with this inheritance approach, not really sure how to work around this. I think what we could do is just copy the styles over. And this is the issue with the inheritance approach. We're going to be copying and pasting code, which is not great. And if we continue with this inheritance approach, we could end up copying and pasting a lot of code to accomplish some of these more derived styles. And we could end up with a really disgusting and massive style inheritance tree where we just have tons of styles that we're inheriting from for all these very specific use cases. So ultimately inheritance isn't a good solution here and we need something more flexible. We need more of a composition approach. And this is where .NET Mali has provided us with style classes. So instead of these styles with keys, we can give these styles class names and then simply combine the styles, which is exactly what we want. We wanna be able to compose multiple styles together to create our ideal style. So instead of giving these styles keys, we can give them classes. So we're giving the style a class name of primary button. Let's do the same thing for our nav button. And in reality, we don't really need this primary nav button style anymore. We can just combine our classes as appropriate to our specific button. And we'll see that in action. So let's get rid of the style and let's get into how we use these different classes. So scrolling down, instead of setting the style, we simply set the style class. So for these first three, we want these to be nav buttons. There we go. And then this sign up button, we want it to be a nav button, but we also want it to be a primary button. And boom, that's all we have to do to combine styles. And actually these need to be comma separated, very important. But with this class-based approach, we're easily composing styles together. So very basic, really the way it should be, but this is something that didn't exist in WPF. And I think we have one more button down here. So our main button on the UI, we want this to be a primary button. And there we go, it looks good. So we have our three nav buttons. We have our nav button, that's also a primary button. And then we also have our basic primary button. So we were able to achieve all of our style needs with just two classes, no adherence, and we could just apply those classes however we want on our elements. So again, much easier, not very complicated, kind of the same way as CSS classes in the web development world. Which means, I guess it's only a matter of time before we see Maui Tailwind, right? Anyways, hopefully you can apply style classes to your own .NET Maui application so that you don't end up with nasty style and inheritance trees and so that you can easily compose styles.